Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And today is an exciting day for all of us. We just took on Flagstaff, and this is actually my first video of the Flagstaff that we're gonna do. So it's gonna be nice because it's a nice small on here for both me and you. Uh, we'll get you on the outside, kind of talk about some of the features that Flagstaff is doing, um, and we'll get you inside. So kind of start right up front here. Um, small camper, still gonna have the really nice slam latch baggage doors. They're all held up by magnets. Uh, pass through storage, you're gonna see the aluminum frame construction in here. Cool thing with that is it's also like under the bed and couches and places that they're gonna have like weight distributed on. Um, they're gonna have the aluminum frame construction on that. This is gonna be that table that you'll see that plugs into the couch that's on the inside. They give you a cool little bag um, with a bunch of goodies in here. So, I mean, you're already getting a water filtration system. I mean, you got your spatula, cool little logo Forest River spatula that they got thrown in here. Just a nice place to keep all your stuff. Cool little options from Forest River coming in here. Um, they're gonna have a small little griddle that's on the inside as well that that'll kind of come and sit right on here on this little section. So just really starting off really great. It does have uh, prep for more solar on the side. So if you wanted to use one of those briefcase solars and follow the sun, you your prep for solar on the side there. Fiberglass uh, front cap with an automotive tinted window on the front. So you can see out of that. Um, we'll show you more on the inside. You got the rock guard down below. Uh, nice docking lights. They also hit you with a dually battery box. So if you wanted to add a second battery here at Bullion, we do include one battery in the deal um, with a, one of the 27 deep cycle marine gray batteries. So if you wanted to drop it down to the 24, or put two batteries in there, they hook you up with a, a double battery box coming from them. That's really cool. LP tanks on here. Should open this one up, but um, two LP tanks on board. It looks like they give you the 30 pound can. Let's see if you get 30 pounders, two 30 pounders in there. So 60 pounds of propane on this small unit is gonna last a really long time. Nice power tongue jack. Even small little add-ons like this little guy right here. Spot to put the power cord so it's not dragging in the mud. Keeps it off the ground for you. Really like that. Around the back side, other door for your pass-through storage. This unit is coming in at about 4,500 pounds dry weight, so super half ton towable. Some of those bigger SUVs can be able to take care of this as well. Depending on how you load your camper, some of the mid-sized SUVs might be able to take care of this unit as well too. So really like that aspect that it's very, very versatile and very towable with a lot of different vehicles out there. Notice the frameless windows on these guys. Schwintech system on here. Another small outdoor storage. So again, with these small units, having storage, being able to get in and out of them um, in nice little places in different areas, as much as you can get, is gonna be super great. All right, and then right um, after the slide, you're gonna have all your city water hookups, your cable in and out, satellite stuff from the campgrounds, if you have the option for those. Um, black tank flush, all that's gonna be right here. 30 amp service right down there. And then also your elimination station is all right down there with your gray and black pole. So everything in one really nice convenient location, not under a slide box. Um, so really easy to get at. Back bumper holds your sewer hose in the bumper. You got hot cold water on the back of this unit, which is gonna be nice. So you can kind of wrap it on the back side. So if you are spraying off, creating a little puddle, it's not in the front of the camper, creating any mud or anything like that. So you can keep it all back there. Prep for a backup camera on this unit. So this one looks like it is acceptable for a Furion. So we do carry those here in our parts department. So kind of, you can get that hooked up with you guys. You got your full size spare on the here with the tire cover. And then this is set up to put a bike rack here, storage rack. So whether you're putting a couple bikes, a generator, some coolers, whatever you got going on, maybe one of those little kayak racks, set up for 300 pounds to be able to plug into there. Put a ladder on board to get you to the fully walkable roof. So having that there, um, I've seen people connect stuff to this as well. So just having this on board and you're gonna have a 250 pound capacity on that ladder. So like I said, the roof is a fully walkable roof. So be able to check your seals and make sure all that stuff's going on. Maybe sweep off that slide if you're under a bunch of trees, getting pine needles, pine cones, sticks, or anything like that. Nice solid steps with a really big grab handle moving into the back of this unit. Right out front, 
outdoor speakers right under the awning. Awning running the whole length of the camper pretty much. And again, frameless windows out here. Forest River kind of does this cool thing with their TV backers so you can kind of move a TV around. So they give you the one TV backer so you can slide one out here if you want to have movie night under the stars or sitting outside watching your favorite game. Tailgating with a smaller unit, doing things like that. Be able to move a TV out here with all your appropriate hookups, uh, power and cable right there for you. And then also with that grill spot here that we were talking about earlier in the video, right down below is gonna be your quick connect for your LP. So be able to hook that little grill up to here, or maybe if you have a bigger grill you wanna put on the side and hook up a little pounder to that one. Either way you guys wanna look at it, depends on how much grilling you got going on. So we'll swing in. Right as you walk in, a couple things you want you to notice is a spot to be hang your coats or things like that. These are adjustable, so you could move these out if you wanted to put some coats in here. Then you do have some shelving right down below that. A uh, spot to maybe kick all your shoes and get those up out of the way. Also, you got your solar controller right as you walk in and then all your controls. So uh, your water heater, your water pump, turn on all your lights. And what's really cool is with these lights, you know, you can just kind of see they light up blue when you have them all turned on. So you kind of know what light is working what. All your battery, you know, your battery charger, your tanks, slides, awnings, all that one convenient location. Also, a more convenient location, you connect this to Bluetooth and it's all on your phone as well. So really like that. Good size bathroom back here. Porcelain toilet in this unit. Um, usually I get in the showers, but this one just got winterized, so we gotta get down and wipe out all the antifreeze here in Minnesota. We got snow on the ground, so that's a thing. But really nice storage, got a ton of towels, ton of toiletries and stuff right into there upgraded you to the max air fan in the bathroom right away so no more of those fart fans got the good nice big bathroom fan in here uh you got a shower miser in the shower so really to kind of keep down on your water usage cool thing with that is you just if you never used one flip this little silver switch here this blue will turn into a gray i believe um, but it'll turn a different color to let you know the water is hot it's going to recycle back into the fresh water tank until it gets hot you just flip that switch back over, it'll give you that water. So you're not gonna be spending water down into the gray tank just waiting for the water to get hot. So it really kind of extends the water size of those tanks. Um, really nice medicine cabinet, uh, good sink in here, storage, a little bit of storage down below. And you can see the cool little night light under lighting down here as well. Uh, one of the coolest features that, again, my first unit here, that I really just found out with these fridge and freezers is I can open them from this side. Or if I was just coming in the door and I wanna just swing at it this way, I can open it from this side. That's pretty sweet. Um, I, that's, I don't know, lost for words on that one. I really like that. Uh, another great thing, solid service countertops in Flagstaff. So really nice quality, solid service countertops. You got a nice high rise uh, faucet with the rollover dually sink. So you can kind of use that to extend the counter space or use that as like a little drying rack there for you. A lot of counters and cabinets, or, or sorry, a lot of drawers and a lot of cabinets for storage in here. Get these all pulled out, nice deep storage just quality real wood on here as well little pots and pans small little drawer down there more for pans maybe some utensils um, fixed bed up front there's gonna be that window they're throwing you some really nice decorative pillows to start so that's one less stop to home goods that you have to do to kind of get the pillows on there there's that really nice window over the bed um, just to kind of makes it a little less claustrophobic. It opens up a little smaller trailer like this with all the windows and space in here. Really like that. Nice big table size on each side with power. So if you have a CPAP machine, bunch of devices, your favorite book, snacks in bed, enough space to have all that on there. You also have wardrobe hanging on either side. So that's gonna be really nice. And then the overhead storage has these nice doors on them. 
So sometimes in other models, uh, you just have the shelf up here. So, you know, during travel, if you don't have baskets or strap them down, they might fall down. Having the doors on there to keep them inside. One less thing to worry about as you're getting traveled and one less thing they have to find another spot for or take back out when you get to where you want to go. Also, the floor, no in-floor heat ducts. Everything is coming up off the floor, or out of the walls. So if you have little pets or little kids, you don't have to worry about dropping Legos or fur, or snacks, Cheerios, anything down in that. It also keeps the floor a really nice one-piece floor. One thing we didn't touch on on these things, we got an extender on the side of the countertop here to really bring in a lot of extra use of space. This box is that outdoor grill that I was telling you about that they include in here. So that comes with the deal. Up under the bed, also notice again, the aluminum framing, you know, like we were talking about um, under the beds, you got aluminum framing under there, nice little storage spot. So just kind of, they know in those heavier places, places that are gonna be, you know, used a lot more, they reinforce it to really give you that longevity and the quality build of a unit. I like these blackout shades. Slow rise blackout shades. Hidden hinges as well. So I don't know if you noticed that throughout the video, but all the hinges are inside. So it makes them really clean. These ones are soft closed, so they're not just banging. So if you were looking for something in the middle of the night or somebody's taking a nap or something, those aren't just, you're not just banging those all closed. Let's see if this is plugged in, but let's see if we can, no. Let's see if we can unplug it quick. Well, this comes out, this will drop to a bed, you know, or if you guys are just sitting back, having a couple drinks, cup holders on each side, one cup holder in the middle, big space to fit two, three of you guys on here. You do have the curtain that'll give you the privacy curtain for the bedroom if you did have an extra guest in here as well. So uh, storage up under the bed, couple nice cold drawers, socks and undies. You know, maybe if you got your pet with you, stick a couple of th toys in there for them. But just overall, we're really lucky to have these guys. I think it's gonna be a great addition to all the other manufacturers that we do have here already. A nice, another option for folks in the smaller options we're carrying their whole line. So it's just really cool to have them. So again, my name is Kyle Dimon. We're here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Like our videos if you enjoy watching these things. Uh, subscribe really helps us out. Leave us a comment. We do check those out. Kind of, you know, navigate our videos around to what you guys are looking to see. So, again, really appreciate you guys following along and watching the videos. It really means a lot to us. So, give me a call. Shoot me a text. Let me know I can help you out. 218-740-4964. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.